letter C. We're making a collection of classic collage clusters using calendar, crosswords, catalog, cards, and a coloring book. We're making 10 of them. For details and the tutorial, stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie. I'm here with the letter C. So the letter C for the A to Z junk journal challenge for April is a collection of classic collage clusters using calendar, crosswords, catalog, cards, and coloring book. We have to make 10, use the C items and other items from your stash. So we have to make 10 little collage, well they, they, can, they don't have to be little, but they're clusters. So 10 clusters. So to start off with, I'm going to grab my catalog. I'm going to use the bulb catalog that I have. And so I'm going to find something that we can use. So probably either blue or purple or white and dun, 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 dun. okay so I'm gonna go ahead and use this right here and I'm gonna cut me a couple of scallops so there's one sorry and well let's cut in here and So that gives me two of those. Ooh, I like that side too. Okay, so that will give me some a couple of bases using the catalog. And then we need to use a calendar. Now I have my big calendar, but I also have these little calendars. So um, that gives me the calendars. We've got crosswords. And so there's a couple of different pieces of crosswords. Um, cards, we can use our post little mini postcards. That will count as cards. Um, you could use flinch cards. Coloring book. Okay, I have... I have some coloring book pieces cut out. So let's see what we have. And I do have some Project Life card pieces. So that would be cards. Um, I have that and that. And I have the letter C of a card. Okay. Uh, calendar, crosswords, catalog cards coloring book okay so we are good there we have our these pieces that we should use and we'll get us um, the the items that we have to use and then we can use anything else that we have so your clusters do not have I mean I think clusters and I think round but your clusters do not need to be round. They can be um, of any shape. So I think, though, we're going to start with this one. We're going to start with really something pretty simple. And let's go ahead and add a flinch card. So this is actually a card. I'm going to use the number one because I have the four over there as a large card. And we had someone show us uh, or tell us on a live video the other day about using 
the um, the fancy scissors to cut the edges on your cards and it's just so fun and so easy so I have this lace edge scissor and I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little more actually the way this one's going in it but you can go ahead and cut this little um, indentation all the way around it's kind of fun so I'm gonna go ahead and probably add that there and maybe a ticket and then we probably want something on top I'm looking I'm scanning and looking and going oh oh okay that would be kind of cool and pretty simple and you know what up here I have a butterfly this is from the flutters and fairies digital kit and I think that will work just wonderfully so I'm gonna go ahead and start with my flower because that's easy now you can color in your coloring page if you want to um, I'm not going to but you can okay I'm gonna go ahead and put this and glue it right on there and I'm gonna put my glue on this card and add it and I want to get some of that line also let's see there we go I like that okay there's that and then just add our flower or our butterfly excuse me butterfly and this time I am going to put my butterfly right kind of in the center then I don't have to put a center in this flower because it's going to make a uh, center is going to make it even more bulky but um, this will all eventually lay flat and you know what I'm looking at my butterfly and I apparently didn't finish fussy cutting it now it might not bother you but <laughs> I'm going to look at that and go, what was I thinking? Because I'll even fussy cut a sticker that shows too much white space. Okay, so there we go. And there we have our first cluster. Yay! Okay, so let's go straight to this. And we have our, our calendar. You can actually, if you're making like, if your journal is going to be a date book kind of thing, or um, even if you're just keeping track of memories, um, you can use real, uh, like actual calendar that's going to be the right month and everything. I'm just using this as a decoration here. Okay. So, again, we're going to go ahead and build our our cluster. So there we have that. Here we have some more of the uh, crossword puzzle. Okay, so just using items that we have been using. And then, so here's a beautiful card. And we can just go ahead and um, rip this. I think there's one already ripped in that pile somewhere. But we'll just go ahead, rip around this. This is from the Pansy Kit. Just the, It's called The Pansy Kit. And it is watercolor pansies and this one is the one on balloon no not bu bubble paper so I made a background paper um, using food coloring in bubbles it was way way fun okay so um, I'm 
think, and maybe right across like that. Then that on top of there. And, you know, this really wanted to go over there. I don't know if you saw that, but this, this little piece really wanted to just go right over there. Now, we can glue these all together or... You can staple them together so this little batch is all kind of in a I'm gonna staple two staples up here and I'm gonna come and staple two staples down here and there you have cluster number two and clusters probably we should have done these probably earlier in the in the selection of things that I've been doing because, well, there's two things. One is you don't do them because you don't have your scraps yet. Um, but, um, the other thing, <laughs> it's like, you don't have your scraps. I don't have my scraps yet. But you could be using these in in things that you're making. So here I have a piece of the coloring book. I have one of the ephemera cards from the Pansy Digital Kit. I'm thinking possibly using some of the crossword words. Okay, so that's crossword words. Um, how about, oh, no, no, let's do, let's do this. Okay, so that gives us a third one. And again, I mean, I think we can staple this one also. If I pull this down, yeah, we can staple this one also. As long as I've got all my pieces. Okay. So staple it there. It kind of reminds me of like patchwork stitching. So that's three. Um, we have this large... And I'm going to go ahead on this one, and if I do the whole, you might have, like, edge, edge scissors. I do have edge scissors, or not scissors, edge, an edge punch. Can't get to it, but I have them. <laughs> Since I told you we were going to do an ed edge punch, we'll just go ahead and we'll pull out the Martha Stewart lace edge punch. So if you have these or if you've gotten them and you don't know how to use them, you go ahead and I like to start in the middle and punch down. And then what you do is you go and you, you'll see there's a, an outline of your... The lace there and you just line it up with that and then you can go ahead and punch it here and then you come down and you line it up on the other side and punch and you you'll get that that little lace edge okay so um, there we go so we have our little lace edge on this one and so I guess we'll decorate this side so how about we'll do, we'll just go ahead and be gluing it on. So this is another way, just quickly building, building a cluster. Okay, so usually a cluster is probably going to have at least three things on it. Um, I 
do like these tickets. Um, I like my numbers pointing up, so that's why I was moving that around. Okay, I've got some glue on the back here. Okay, I want to, so the other thing is, you know, your clusters are collaging again. So you kind of want to make sure that you're, you're um, bringing your pieces together. Okay, I like that, but I don't like it on here. Oh, but I do. Maybe. Of course, it's upside down. So, yeah. So, and then your clusters, after you've finished them, can become other things. Like this could be a tuck in your journal. I'm going to go ahead and come down here. I'm going to keep this element of... Okay, so that's most unusual. My printer just <laughs> randomly... Totally randomly, because I'm not even using that printer these days. But, however, it does get turned on every once in a while, because it's um, it was the default. And every once in a while, it go, it, my printer, for some reason, goes back to default. So, I see we've got... Let's just put one word from the crossword puzzle. So this is actually out of a crossword puzzle book that was my dad's. And um, I have saved the crosswords where he either did them or he started them. And um, so, whoop. Okay, so there's that. But we want probably a little bit of gold on here. I do have this gold. So let's go ahead and we'll add that gold. Okay, so we have used a card. We've used a calendar. We've used the catalog. We've used the coloring book. We've used crosswords. Card, catalog, crosswords. We've used at least one of each of the pieces. So far we have four clusters. I love them. Okay, so let's go ahead and do one with our um, with our our calendar piece. Um, and I think we'll go ahead and we'll add this. And hmm. <laughs> So this is a, this is from um, we used we used this in the journal, so that could be piece coming across down there, and okay, so there we go, and let's we've got. Oh, wrong, wrong fabric tack. Get the one that actually is moving. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to put that right down between the 9 and the 10. Just like that. This will go on top. So it's basically we are collaging again. Lots of collaging in this in this challenge. I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna turn that, let it come back on itself. Um, it will actually help that to be more strong. Go ahead and use our fabric tack here. Today. <laughs> ah, la -di -da -da -da. Okay, so 
we're just going to go ahead and put some on these. You can go ahead and color your lace if, if you've been doing that or if you like to do that. I'm not going to color it on this one. Then go ahead and since we are putting this on to fabric, we'll go ahead and add the fabric tack there. Okay. And let's see. And of course, you can always add more um, stuff when you get it into the journal. Okay, so there gives us that one. And of course, we'll be able to cut this down if we want to or rip it down. Um, there you go. So here we have another one of the coloring books. And... Had a, yeah, here's a larger pansy picture. I think this time I'm going to just put it right in the middle of that. You can go ahead and add our ticket like that. Wrong scissors. Okay, I don't need that. Um, the other thing I have, I have this that I've been using. So you'll see, you know, I start when I when I make a journal, I start to use a lot of the same uh, little pieces. And so this is the bingo master sheet from the bingo set that I like to buy at, um, I get it at Dollar General because I have a Dollar General right here by me. So that's, that's the, that's the main reason I'm not close to anything else. There's a family dollar right here and a, and a Dollar General. And so that's why you'll see those um, that I'll go ahead and do. So we've been using messy string um, with the gold thread in this journal. So I'm just going to go ahead and make myself a messy thread to use. Go around my finger, fingers several times. I've been doing four fingers and three fingers. Um, I use double-sided tape. Cut a small piece off, wrap it around the messy thread, and you could literally do this with messy thread. So like after you've sewn with your sewing machine, just grab a cluster of thread. Okay, there we go. I'm, okay, so let's see. I'm going to put this. Now I'm going to put it up in this corner just because that bunch of blue area there. Okay, so there is another cluster. We're halfway there. And so let's see what else we can, what else we can do. Aha, we can take one of these and this could be our base right here. And go ahead and fussy rip around the beautiful pink pansy. So this is from the, the Vibrant Pansy Journal Kit. There's also these pink pansies are also in the Antique Pansy Journal Kit, Digital Kit. And um, the digital kits are all available in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. And they are all 50% off while we are home. So, and they're available, you can immediately download them. 
and use them. So there we go. We will we can use that and we can add a definition because we have been using definitions. Uh, maybe another ticket. Okay. So you probably want to use at least three items in your cluster. Um, and you can use a variety as you see. You just can use a variety of items. I think we'll have this. Yeah, I want to go in, in my cluster. There we go. And okay, I'm going to go ahead and go with the, oh, I don't want to lose the look of the pansy there. So I'm going to move my gold up here. Okay, I'm going to move my gold so that it goes up and down. Just move things around till you till you love it or you like it a lot. Okay, there we go. Clusters can be straight and uniform or they can be messy. So we'll go ahead and I have used the stapler throughout the journal. So that gives us another one. That's six. Let's see. What else do we have up here? Oh, we have a jar. We have two jars. So we have a jar. Um, we could use one of the purple flowers. Okay, we've been using that and we could use a real flower, which is also purple. If you use a real one, I'm gonna to wanna to take the inside piece out of it this time. Okay. So we can make like our, our own little floral arrangement here on our jar. Can use this little piece of pansy to help fill in. Yeah, like that. Okay. Okay, now I want the yellow to show because when I don't see the yellow, so maybe we need one of the bigger, bigger flowers. Okay, so that one's one of the cut down smaller flowers. Yeah, I think we get the bigger flower. Add the pansy, the bigger flower, the purple down there. Love it. This just came to me. I actually had an idea using this jar earlier, which was similar, but I like this much better. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this pansy piece of pansy down because I like to make sure I'm using all of everything. I like to use everything in my stash. Okay, so there's that. So this, this would count as a cluster because we are clustering items together. Um, I think I want another piece of this. I'm gonna go over here on this side because it will be longer. And I just had a piece of this string. I accidentally cut it. So let's go ahead and put that in here if we can get it to be in here because otherwise it's going to just end up in the trash. Okay, I'm going to put that underneath my, my little flower. Okay. I'm going to 
staple my flower on. Okay, got a little bit of the gold there. And put this down here. Um, I had some fluffy flowers up here. So I think we'll go ahead and add a fluffy flower. I'm not going to build it into a fluffy flower, though. Oh, yeah, I could. Actually, we'll just put some, some of these on top of each other. Fluffy flowers, a true fluffy flower would actually be being made around a paintbrush or some kind of like a skewer or something and would actually have dimension. We might see if we can get some dimension of this after it dries, but okay. So we'll put that, that'll give us our center. And then after it dries, I will see about fluffing it up. Okay. So, but that is our number seven. I love it. And let's see, what do we have? What do we have up here? Oh, how about a tag? Okay. So we can start with this, this tag here. Okay. Do we have any of the gold tool left? I don't see any. So let's go ahead and we'll put a piece of this lace through here. Okay, so that that will be that. You can use this clump of fabric tack to <laughs> start holding that together. And, um, okay, so what other, other little things? Oh, okay, so we are going to be using this in our, um, the wallet, W. So this is privacy envelope. That's what this is. Go ahead and put that down. And go ahead and go around that and we have a blue ticket go like this okay and we have this piece from guest check I usually really like the numbers, but I think on this one I don't want the numbers. And I just want it to attach here and then down here. I did not do these beforehand at all. <laughs> did not like going, oh, as a matter of fact, some of these things that I'm using were supposed to be for something else. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to. Okay, so here we can go ahead. We haven't added any pattern, and we've been using pattern all through this journal. So let's go ahead and add some pattern. I'm going to use the, the glue stick. And I'm going to go ahead and get it, uh, warm it up so that it moves easier. And then we'll just put that on here. I want to make sure that, see the, the lines are my favorite part of, okay. And then 
that can just go around. Okay, so there's that. So don't be afraid to, to add to your, um, okay, I want some white showing on this. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do the background here and then I will cluster more on top. Okay. Use up some of these little pieces that are here. Give us some of the colors. Ooh, look, we've got a um, dictionary butterfly. I think that'll be good on the ticket. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and cut around the bottom of my tag. Cut around the bottom of my tag. And cut around this top part of my tag. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and make sure that that is glued together. And now we need to add our cluster on top. And so I'm looking around my desk to see what I've got. It's like, what do I have? Nope. Okay. Let's see, we can pull out our, this. I have this set of gold. I like that, maybe. Looking to see if there's any more pansy things. Oh, look at we've got some book page, but that's that's too big. We can put that down. Um, sorry, I'm just just looking through what I have on my tray. What is left on the tray? Which is really cool cuz you see we're getting we're getting down to the down to the end of it, which is, I think is pretty exciting. Um, okay, up here. Aha. I can't pick it up. Okay, a oh, piece of a butterfly. That could go as... I thought it was the whole butterfly. It's just a piece, but that's okay because it can get collaged onto this edge. There, like it. Okay, so now I just want to cluster on the top. I have this violet sticker and I'm gonna want something under it to make it clustery. Okay, I think just a messy string and then the sticker. Okay. The, the last ones are the hardest ones because it's like, okay, now what? And of course you can make yours you I think are they do they are they supposed to be different? Use the C yeah, it doesn't say. So yours can be similar. Um I'm trying to give you different ideas, so I'm making 10 different ones. And um, so sometimes with things like we did in the beginners 
series and we made the batch uh, embellishments and so we were making things that were similar and so you only have to do the thinking part one time that is um, that is just makes it's a way to make your junk journaling go faster okay so I'm gonna put this right here in the center of that then we'll add the the pansy sticker this is from um, the boys town stuff that my parents used to get so there we go there we go so that's cluster and I don't remember what number on so let's count so we have one two make sure that stays down <laughs> one two three four five six seven eight nine we need one more so let's go with um, the book page scallop and we have the negative from our sticker and I usually go ahead and stick my thumb in and I'm able to pull it off like that and I think we can go ahead and put this around this and then rip around it Okay, so there we go, ripping around it. And it feels like it should be this way. Okay. the ticket okay and I think I need a messy string and that will ooh, 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 ooh. I like this okay I like this okay so this under here and messy string and you could use the fingernail polish like we've done a couple times in this journal and to get your gold sparkly and so here we go one two three four five six seven eight and then around the three and back around cut put it where it goes so that you can find it next time twist it Put this in the center. The reason I've twisted, it just makes it easier to figure out where to put this. Clamp them together, pull it apart, and usually one side will stick to the other and make it so that you can take that apart. We're gonna put this behind our, our little dot, and let's go ahead and glue our things together. So, um, I'm going to want this to be, go ahead and heat up. This is how you heat up your glue stick. It makes it work much e faster and easier and it doesn't tear things as much. And then you can just use your glue stick to pick it up off the book page. Okay, so there's that. You can go ahead and add some glue stick here. 
put that onto our purple flower. Do we have, see now that brought things over, so I don't know if this is supposed to be on there, but I'm going to put it on there. Um, I'm going to put them, huh, oh well. Okay, go ahead and. Turn your page before. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'm deciding against the. might bring it back in differently okay but I do want that in there put some glue stick on that put it in and under add our okay so there is another cluster and you see that we used up a lot of our little pieces of things and we're just down to that kind of little bits that we can keep um and so we can actually throw some things away so there are our 10 let's go ahead and pull this over into the pile okay so if you are here in the preview, I want to thank you for being here. I'm waving. Hi. And um, I would love to know what you think about these previews. Are you enjoying them? And um, if you are following along and you are doing your, your journal, what is your favorite embellishment that we've made? Which one surprised you was different than what you what you thought it was by the way that the um, the directions or the details gave you and um, are you are you enjoying it? And will you be joining us in May? Because yes, we will have a new challenge on May first. Uh, this challenge will finish on April 30th. April 30th is the deadline to finish your journal um, for this. And um, there you go. And did you finish your March journal? Are you ready for a VIP, a virtual internet party? And that's what I offer to those that finish their journal. Um, and post it as uh, asked. And um, I'm just adding the little pieces here while I talk to you. So we'll just add a few more little little pieces because you know because we have them. And um, so. Yeah, so I'd like to know those things. Um, and have you invited anyone to join us in these these challenges? Uh, love to know that. I know a couple of the ladies this month have have invited their sisters and been shocked at that their sisters <laughs> jumped right in and. Uh, and, and are really enjoying it. So, um, you know, don't, don't forget your sisters and your friends and because we'd love to have them. And so I'm just, you know what, I'll save that. I don't. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and see what we made. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get rid of this paper. If you're still here, 
uh, tongue twister collection of classic collage clusters. Uh, find, pick another C word and describe the collection of clusters with another C word and, um, and be nice. <laughs> ah, so there, we've got this one piece of tool left, one little piece. So I'm going to stick it right in there. That way this one has some gold and I'm going to add it with the stapler down. There we go. Okay, so we added a little bit there. Okay, so let's, I put the top on the glue. That's a big deal here. Top on the glue. Make room to show you the 10 clusters. Okay, so here we go. We have a coloring book cluster with scraps, with a ticket, with some tool, one of the bingo markers, some of the crossword puzzle, and one of the um, embellishment pieces from the pansy kit all stapled on and then we added when we added the scrap that was glued on so here we have another coloring book page we have a paper flower a butterfly from the flutters and fairies or fairies and flutter digital kit um, a flinch card from the flinch card kit a ticket and some tool here we have our calendar background with part of our catalog crossword puzzle here's a part of the um, one of the embellishments and we added that little gold leaf and some gold tool this is the last one that we made with the big purple flower a scrap here some ticket this is the negative of the sticker We've got some um, messy string and the bingo marker, the scalloped edge book page, and a piece of that gold doily. And if you um, haven't been here for a while, this is what the gold doily started out like. And I've been cutting it up and using it. I just found another one a couple days ago. So here we have another calendar page with the scrap and the ticket. Some of that lace tablecloth that I took apart. The, a piece from the catalog, the doily, and this is also from that tablecloth. So that's the most plain one that we have. It probably could use a little, a little more, and I'll probably decorate that a little more when it comes time. So coloring book, ephemera from the pansy kit, a ticket, messy string, and a bingo from the bingo master list. Big pansy ticket crossword, crossword clues, tool, and stapled. Here's our bouquet in a jar. I love this. This would actually make a great paper clip. Um, and maybe I will make it into a paper clip. Because once you've made your 10 clusters and you show us your picture, then you can go and use them for anything. Okay, so you can use your clusters on your other items if you want to. Um, oh, so that is not sticking. And so we will switch to fabric tack, which it is a silk flower. So I should have known that. Sorry about that. If you were following along and I messed you up there, I'm sorry. If it's fabric, use fabric tack. That's, that's all there is to it. <laughs> Unless it's a cover, and then I use my mono Tombow liquid glue. But Okay, so this is the Heinz ketchup of glue right here. Um, so next we have our tag, and we added a ticket and part of a guest check. And we added the sticker and the messy string, and we collaged all the tag, added some of the tablecloth up there to the top, and that gave us a cluster. And this one here is going to make a great little tuck. And so it was a full-size flinch card 
with one of the pieces of Pansy Ephemera, some crossword puzzle there, some crossword clues, part of the gold doily, and a yellow ticket. So is this there yet? <laughs> There we go. Okay, go ahead and close this up. And add our fluffy flower. So let's go ahead before we add it, let's fluff it a little bit. So if you've seen the, me use the fluffy flowers before, I usually actually fluff each layer of the flower and um, they're really fun. Okay, so we'll just add that on to there. And that is our letter C. We made 10 collection of classic collage clusters using calendar, crosswords, catalog cards, and coloring book. I can't wait to see what you've made. Um, make sure that you post your finished elements in the element posts. In the April A to Z Junk Journal Challenge. And there is a post for each of the elements. And even if it doesn't look like you're going to finish your journal, go ahead and share with, what, share with us what you have done. We would love to see what you've done. Um, you know, your, your idea just might spark an idea for somebody else. So there's my 10 10 items, right? Three, six, nine, ten. Yay! And there you go. So find something to celebrate every day. Be safe. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell and tell it that you want all notifications if you want to know when I'm going to be posting a video or a live video. Uh, right now, while we're home, I'm doing a live event every weekday at 3.35. And the premieres are at 10.35 Pacific Standard Time. The format for right now, that's what we're going to do. I am thinking about um, changing the live event to a premiere because it's easier on the internet <laughs> for everybody. But it takes me more time. But I'm also there and able to chat. So um, let me know what you think about that. Put that in the comments down below. If you're still here, tell me which one was your favorite. I love that one. I think, the, and, and this one, I think this is my favorite. This one, maybe that one. These two are my favorite and that one. These, these two are my favorite clusters, like clusters, and I love that. And should I turn that into a paperclip? Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.